I'm back with another see-through engine video. This time I'm gonna build a see-through four-cylinder engine that runs based off of this little mini engine right here, which everybody loved in the previous videos. It's gonna be so cool if I can make this work. And I think I know exactly how I'm gonna do it. I'm all done. This is how it came out. I think it looks pretty good. This was a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. This was literally days and days of machining, but looks like a see-through four-cylinder engine to me. Sort of reminds me of uh, ice sculpture. I think it looks pretty. And I based this block design off of the L400, which was a beast in the previous video. It was such a beast that it broke the crankshaft. Check that out. I'm gonna use all of the parts from this engine and put them inside of the see-through engine start it up and I don't see any reason it shouldn't run and I'm really curious to see how this is going to look. Check that out. Man, that's perfect. Hopefully I got the timing right. I hear a compression. Oh, it actually worked. Glow plugs are on. Got fuel leaking out of the carburetor. Let me start it up and See if this thing actually works. Ooh, there it goes. Uh oh, that didn't sound good. Here's something sizzling on this. I think that's the fuel on the starter. At least I know it works. Uh oh, oh, oh. This thing idles at like 5,000 RPM. locked up already well let me swap that out with another block maybe put a set of headers on there and try it again i think my header came out pretty good and hopefully this time it runs more than a couple of seconds and i'm gonna do one more thing i've been curious about these engines in particular don't use oil in the crankcase since they get the oil from the fuel but I always wondered what would happen if you fill up one of these with oil and I don't know why they don't come with oil in the first place. I don't see it doing any harm. If anything, it might splash up in the cylinders and keep it cool and keep the thing running a little bit longer this time. I'm gonna fill it up with oil. That works, actually I think that looks pretty good. That looks great. Start it up and try it again. Man, all that oil is all over the table now. Here we go. Whoa, I actually wanted to start up right away. burns my eyes i think the oil in the crankcase made a big difference because it just ran a lot smoother sounded better and it didn't heat up as much i'm gonna put an oil pan gasket in place then i'm gonna fill up this crankcase about halfway with oil i want this thing to at least survive long enough where we could see something crazy happen and not just have the thing lock up i think it's gonna survive That's wild. I didn't even do anything. It started right up. It's 
Seemed a little bit better. It's still turning. Man, I don't even know where all that's coming from. Well, it looks like that block is shot. That has a ton of blow-by. If you look at the high-speed footage, you can see all of that blow-by going right past the pistons. That makes sense. No compression, no explosion, no power. Let me swap this block, and then I'm gonna do it one more time. Oh man, that's not looking good. No wonder why it has no compression. Half of the cylinder wall is missing. That makes more sense now. Those pistons are stuck. Out with the old. And with the new. This is the last one. That's it. Going for broke. Okay, I got the new block set up. Crane case is full with oil. So far, this video for me has been pretty boring. I'm gonna spice things up and add some oxygen and acetylene to the mix. No, correcto. I made the oxygen acetylene mixture almost stoichiometric. That way it's somewhat explosive, but we'll also be able to see the flame. I'm gonna hook this up to the engine, start the engine on methanol, then we're gonna open the oxygen acetylene and start injecting the engine with oxygen acetylene when I hit the throttle. That should yield some pretty interesting results. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. That thing went crazy. Got a little bit of a fire. Oh man. Dude, something popped. I don't even know what popped. That hurt my ears. Oh, I got it out. Perfect. A little bit burned out, but that's okay. Everybody said the weakest part of this engine was the crankshaft and I can verify that because the crankshaft is completely broken in half. I don't know why I find that funny. To my surprise, that was a complete catastrophic failure. Stars were being born inside those cylinders. Went from a four cylinder to a one cylinder. That's it, 800 bucks down the drain. Well, that was interesting. That was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Uh, she was on point. As soon as she heard the engine rev up, she just hit it even before I said anything, which was perfect because I wanted to inject the acetylene before the engine had a chance to lock up, and this was a success. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I got a few more crazy engine videos to go that are on my backlog from not posting in a while. I got to finish those up, and I'm going to be transitioning into a few other types of videos that I think everybody's gonna like. Uh, yeah, that's it for this one. If you want one, I'll leave a link below. Maybe I won't. Anyway, see you in the next video. Adios. It looks like I was finally able to see the flame inside of the cylinders.